Bill O'Reilly here. Please watch this highlight from the No Spin News. To watch the full episode on demand, simply visit BillOReilly.com and become a subscriber today. So the oil situation is the biggest blunder of the Biden administration. He's going to Saudi Arabia on Saturday, the president is, to talk to the sheikhs about pumping more oil. Can you imagine this? So uh, five years ago, under Donald Trump, six years ago, the USA was energy independent. We didn't need to buy any energy anywhere because we were producing it. First day in office, Joe Biden comes in January 20th, 2021, and attacks the American energy industry. We all know this. He slaps regulations on it in harvesting oil, fracking, coal, everything in the name of global warming. That sent a signal to the rest of the world that the U.S. energy industry was going to decline, which it has. Therefore, the price worldwide of a barrel of oil went up and up and up. And that's why inflation exploded in the USA and other countries, because we're paying more to drive an automobile, heat and cool our homes. And that affects everything. All right, we all got it. Biden, 100% his fault. Not Putin, not the oil companies. Biden. Okay, so now he has to go over to Saudi Arabia, a country he despises, as do most leftists in America, because it's a totalitarian state. If they want to murder somebody, they murder somebody. He's got to go there and say, come, please pump more oil. And then he's going to have to give the sheikh something to get more oil. He'll get it. But we'll give them weapons or we'll give them whatever they want. And you'll never hear about that, what we give them. Okay, so Biden is desperate now. The Democratic Party is desperate because they see the numbers. 33% job approval in a New York Times for President Biden? Unheard of. But even the dimmest of us people who never will lead a smart life. No, he's screwing up. The only people that are behind Biden are the zealots, the hardcore. If they weren't hardcore leftists, they'd be moonies. Okay, so this is a catastrophe. And now people trying to defend Biden are looking like they're clowns. Roll the tape. Your administration has blamed this on the, 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 you know, the war, and that was certainly a big factor. But gas prices had gone up Very 50 factor. percent already before the war. So to me, that's half yeah. of the blame, not all the blame. Yeah. And what's I, what I'm saying about it is that when it comes to these sky high gas prices, drivers are mad about it. I'm mad about it. The president's mad about it. Oil company executives are thrilled because this is good news for them. Okay, so why didn't Neil Cavuto say, wait a minute, oil company executives are thrilled. Well, that may be so, but they didn't gouge under Trump, did they? The oil companies didn't exploit oil under Trump because they couldn't, because it was enough product. It's supply and demand. Now, Cavuto didn't do that. I can't tell you why he didn't do it. It's obvious that he should have. And Buttigieg himself, Secretary of Transportation, under his watch, the airline industry's collapsed. He's done nothing. So Biden and, and, and Buttigieg, they're compatible. We're not going to do anything to solve anything. 